guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to create this look. And it's just a very neutral look and I hope you guys enjoy. So, um, yeah, just enjoy this video. Okay, so I first start out with my, oops, sorry. So I first start out with my, um, Everyday Moisturizer and it's my Lightweight Moisturizer by Mary Kay. And I got this just in a big pack, so we are going to go ahead and put this all over my face. And I just squirt it on my teeth. And you really don't need much, it goes all very long. I should have probably put my hair up in a bun, but oh well. And I just put this in everywhere I just want. And this kind of just keeps my acne under control. And I also use some some acne stuff some sometimes, but I don't use it every day. So okay. Next, I. Use Next I use my Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours and it is in the color Ivory and it's just very pale because I'm pale so. And this is the color and how much I get. And I dab it and then I rub it in. Because if I leave it sitting there, it gets all clumpy and stuff. Rub it out to your neck. It's very important. And the other cheek. I can't use the other hand to rub it in because it's like slides everywhere. So. Into the neck. Okay. Chin. And then I usually go go back over my blemishes like that on my cheek. I mean on my chin. For the summer, I know most people like to use BB cream, but I have like acne that I want to be covered, and BB cream just doesn't do the job. And I really make sure I get it rubbed down my nose because it gets clumpy there, so low. And just rub it up. And lastly, and I use a little bit for half. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all in and I will be back. Okay, now for my eyeshadow. So for today's eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using these two products. This one's by Neutrogena. It is the Neutrogena Crease Proof Eyeshadow and Built-In Primer. And it's just in this really pretty color. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and rub this all over. And sorry if this camera's shaky or like sitting on a rocking chair, so it's kind of awkward. Sorry. Okay, so I just put that on there. I mainly use this primer. And then I'm going to be using my hard candy baked eyeshadow. So, wow, that was terrible. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this. Sorry for the glare. You can see me, hi. Okay. No, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be using this. And for the crease, I'm going to be using this really pretty brown color. So yeah, and I'm going to really pack it on there. Okay. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, but okay. This is like awkward because it's like hard. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Sorry for the shakiness. I know it's like rocking and stuff. Okay. And sometimes I use um, eyeliner, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Whoa! 
So as soon as I do the same thing to this eye, I'll be back. Okay, so I did the same thing to this eye. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pinky color right here. I'm going to take the pinky color, and my hair is like just like a little bit wet, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take the pinky color in this eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to go right in the middle. So just right in the middle there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side before I blend. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean this brush off and now I'm going to blend these two together. Not too much, but a little. Okay, and I'm gonna take the white in this palette. in my inner tear duct. Just to brighten up my eyes. So yeah, oh and I'm also going to put this on my brow bone with white. Just to highlight. It needs two or three because it just gives you so much volume and so much lengthening. I usually don't put a mascara on my bottom lashes, so there's that, and that is the look. And you can finish off with powder, which I will do. But yeah, that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will be um, uploading a vlog tomorrow.